All right, ladies and gents, we are back. Game number five in a best of seven NAC3 promo between the Viper and Leary. Once again, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition wants to discourage me. It wants me to stop and move on to Fortnite or Minecraft or um, Company of Heroes. I don't know. It, it doesn't want me here because it continues to defeat people. But they are not defeated, and we are not going to be defeated. We are going to work past this, okay? So, despite what the score says at the bottom right, the players are actually here and playing. Viper has gone for the Koreans, and then Leary has gone for the Mongols. Uh, Koreans is not what I was expecting on this map, but the new Koreans can be very exciting. And apparently people out there are excited about it as well, because I have more views on my I Love Koreans video than any other video over the past six months. <laughs> Which still cracks me up, because I memed Koreans for years saying I hated them because of the towers, and then I upload one that says I love Koreans, and it's the most popular video for some reason. Um, but anyway, so the new Koreans... Well, first off, they still have all their old tower bonuses. They have their villagers with plus three line of sight. They, they're stone miners, mine faster, all that good stuff. But now, where is it? Oh, their military units cost 15% less wood. So that affects their archers. That affects their uh, all of their non-siege units. That would affect their turtle ships, their war wagons, their halbs. It's a really good bonus. I think it's a bonus that would not discourage towers because towers are still going to be strong with them. But... It gives them something other to do, uh, something else to do other than towers. So, Cenotes or Cenotes is a bit like Arabia in that it's very open. There's a lot of small wood lines, there's a lot of hills, lots of openness. There are some small ponds. You won't see Viper docking in this one, though. I don't think so, anyways. Normally, you shouldn't dock on this map unless you underestimate myself. And think that you can flex on me. <clears throat> Viper. <clears throat> that was really fun. That game was really fun. I I would totally do a rematch. <laughs> uh, you know, there, there might be some instances. Like, here you could justify docking later on and going for fish traps. This is really weird how, how the water extends like that. But early game, probably not. Mongols hunt 50% faster, so I'd expect Leary to be in Feudal Age really quickly. And he has to build off some success with early attacks, whereas Viper, his Civ, gets progressively stronger throughout the game. Viper's Civ doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, so look to him to try and slow the game down and gain some map control. I don't know with what. Maybe archers, maybe towers, maybe war wagons, if he can somehow get there, but... I think this will be tough for Viper, but it will be very interesting for us. Shotzi, hello. Thank you for the five months. Thank you, Tarika, for 13. Thank you, Tarika. I'll try. <laughs> I will try. If you think my work is good now, then I might be good in the future. Opus, welcome. So this has got to be scouts for Leary, right? This is standard. Garrison for food. Oh, wait, one more Ville. Yeah, I think by the time that Ville is created, he'll finish this hunt. Second Lumber Camp. And yeah, he'll go up to Feudal Age. What will Viper do, though? If you wanted to play the old Korean style and go for towers, you, you can't do that against Mongols because Mongols are in Feudal Age so much faster than you. You can't do an out and out tower rush, that is. So, maybe scouts from Viper? Maybe just some delayed scouts? I mean, there's not a whole lot wrong with doing that. You'll be later. But I feel like any other option would, would possibly not work. It is risky at the high level to go into straight archers. Also, Viper's golds are pretty exposed. He has golds here, stones here. All of his areas to mine are, are not so good. Ooh! Wow, Leary has gone to gold, actually. And Viper is probably going to expect scouts. Let me just double check here. Look what Viper scouted. 
he scouted the wood line. He saw this was a new lumber camp, so he expected the two lumber camp into scouts. Leary's not doing that. Leary will go for archers instead. Not a huge fan of it, because I still think scouts into archers is a fine option here, but Leary's looking to surprise Viper. It might be Viper going scouts and Leary going archers. The opposite from what I expected. Why does this look more like Voobly than DE? Did DE get an update to allow casting? Uh, HK, I'm not sure what you're seeing that makes you think that this looks like Voobly. Because it doesn't to me. And it still shows that players are defeated. And the overlay that I'm using is completely different than what we used in the past. Um, but I guess to answer your question on if there's been an update to change casting for me, the answer is, is no. The only thing that I'm able to do now, which is nice, is I, I seem to sometimes be able... Oh, wait, what is this? Yeah. I think Viper wants to send them forward. I seem to sometimes be able to uh, use your words, T90. Oh, yeah, find games that are past five minutes. Piggy. What? Defensive towers? And what is Leary doing? Oh, he is making archers, but it's really delayed. All right, well, the Koreans have turned a new leaf here. It's a bit different. Uh, it's not offensive towers. They're now defensive towers. Does Viper just want to get to war wagons? I mean, the war wagons are cheaper. War wagons have always been really strong and tough to stop when you get a lot of them. So I said, going scouts with Koreans is okay, but it's not great, and... Going archers with Koreans is okay, but it's slow, and maybe Viper's thinking, well, you know what? I'll just play defensive and try and get to war wagons, which is my ideal composition. And Leary scouted the tower. The thing that Viper has not scouted, though, is the fact that Leary's going archers. He's expecting scouts. That's why he created the spears. So... A viper is building a defensive tower in this gold now. He does not know he needs to wall. He does not know the archers could surprise him. And surprise! Now viper needs some quick wall shenanigans. Now they're... Oh, look at the block from Leary. That was so sick, man. He was dodging the town center fire and blocking the villagers' pathing. Well done. So he's already gained a small reward for his attack. I think Leary will... We'll just continue with the archers. Force Viper into more defensive towers. That's the best thing you can do. If if someone is doing what uh, Viper is doing, forcing them into more defensive towers is the way to go. A Viper snipes a Vil with his scout there. He's a lucky boy. But will he lose one? There's no fletching on the archers, so it will be tough for Leary to kill one. But... <gasps> Got her. Well played. So that's 375 stone that Viper has invested into defense. And he still can't comfortably take all of his resources. I like this from Lyria. And Viper forgot about his forager. Yeah, both of these foragers can no longer forage. That's 125 plus 17 plus 106 plus 37. That's a lot of food that Viper cannot take now. Okay, so if I'm Lyria... I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, not great, because you know Viper has safe gold and safe stone, but I'm feeling pretty good. I think now I just look towards Castle Age. It is going to be a struggle, though, because the tower is still... You still get guard tower upgrade for free. You still get the extra range on towers, or if you're Viper, that is. So it's not going to be so easy for Leary to do damage, but don't overinvest in military here. Send another group and do your best, but... Go towards Castle Age and maybe just boom while Viper's playing defensive. Boom and, and raid with the archers. d -Civ says, sometimes I don't understand pro players. What don't you understand here? I mean, what Viper's doing is, is not really ideal. But I don't think it's an awful strategy idea. He, he really needs to... He's not expecting the archers. Uh, Viper has given up full map control, which is really risky. And he's not expecting more archers to come in. He'll lose another bill. Yeah. 
but the risk could possibly pay off. Larry has 700 food though, 185 gold. As I said at the start of the day, I I didn't expect to see high level meta from Viper and Leary in every single game today. I I expected to see players experiment a little bit or seeing that from Viper. We'll see if it it works though cuz right now you know, I almost disagree with his archer range. I feel like if he builds the the market and buys his way to Castle Age instead of making any skirms and continues tower defense, it's better. But he feels like skirms are needed. Is Viper still the best player, or is Hera better? Viper is still the best player. Then, I'd say Hera's top 10, but you have players like Yo, Tato, uh, Leary, MBL. I would all rate above Hera right now. Uh, until, Hera, until Hera gets a big result in the tournament, which I think is possible. So we'll see what 2020 is like for him. Yeah, you have Max. What Hera's missing on his resume is a big 1v1 result. He, uh... He needs, like, top four finish in 2020 would be huge for him. And he probably has the most potential to do so out of, out of all the players. But I would say Viper, Tato, Yo is my top three, then MBL is fourth, and then after that, I'm not sure. Leary, Max. So if... Now this is all... This is all... This is all, uh, what's the word? I can't use my words today. I don't know what's going on with my brain. I'm so sorry. There's a simple word that I've used hundreds of times I need here. Now, this is not speculate. I'm going a different direction with it. Okay. If I was a person who would host a big tournament that possibly hid people's identities, if that was me, that's not me, but if that was me, I might already be looking at details for it, and I might also be getting players' input on where they think players are ranked. And if that was the case, I, I, like I said, I didn't understand the archery range choice from Viper because these skirms are just not going to be in the numbers he needs. Thanks, <laughs> Hypothetically, hypothetically, that's the word I was looking for. Goodness. Um, so hypothetically speaking, if I were speaking to players, I might be asking them for their rankings of all of their colleagues or their opponents, I guess. And you'd be very surprised to see where the pro scene rates the other pros. So that information will hypothetically come out if this weird tournament idea is announced. But um, anyways, we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> Viper wants a castle. He has the stone for a castle, but he is at 60% of the way to Castle Age. I'm sure he's going to stay alive. Koreans are great at that, stalling out with their towers, but Leary's denying farms. He's just doing what he can to delay Viper. He's not over-investing into attack. So it's really smart thinking. Leary... He has a second TC already. So his eco will be ahead of Vipers. It's way ahead of Vipers. We'll see if Viper can come back here. Whew. You should call this tournament something like the Mysterious Cup? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> the Mysterious Cup. Now, old Koreans' castles will build faster. They're fortifications. So that would be castles and walls will build faster. Uh, that is no longer the case. So there's normal build speed here. Oh! Leary really wanted to deny that, but Viper quick walls like the micro nerd he is. And now Viper will try and boom and make war wagons. He is behind. Can he do it with war wagons? These things were always just too expensive to make a lot of in Castle Age. But now they're cheaper. So let's look at the cost of the war wagon. Welcome back to Um. 94 wood and 60 gold. That's not too shabby. Not easy to do with a three town center boom, but it's not too shabby. They did not change the war wagon sounds, but I think I'm used to it. I think in the original Korean video, I complained about that. Like the whiner I am, but I, I don't think it's too bad. 
We'll see, though. So Leary is ahead in economy, but can he hold on to that? I think Mongols, their late game unique unit would be Mangadai. That's their ideal. But for now, I think you're better off with just some crossbows and monks. Let's see if the noise bothers you guys. Um, Tempest, good question. You do not repair war wagons. You heal them. It's not a siege unit. I think if Viper takes control of this hill, he has a chance in this game. Because there are two extra golds for Lyria out there. So maybe control that hill with the war wagons and build towers there. It's a pretty campy game. But I love the new Koreans because we're seeing something else than just a YOLO tower rush. Now how good is this going to be? I'm not sure because Lyria has played this near perfect. 62 villagers versus Viper's 48. Viper's knight gets shot down. I think he converted that. Oh, but Viper shoots a monk. And this is the hill. Again, do not be surprised if Viper comes forward and towers here. <laughs> okay, I've been a bad streamer today. But of the tox. Uh, I do regret saying that name. But thank you for gifting 10 subs to the stream. Um, I actually recall seeing it. I've just been so fascinated by this game. Oh, Leary has a lead skirm and crossbow. Yeah, that was 10 minutes ago. Thank you for that. Thank you, Snack Bar, Takedown, Exiled, and Bolt for the resubs and new subs. Thank you, Bolt. Nice to see you. I don't think Snack Bar was here yesterday either. Hey, man. Welcome back. Oh, and Rosenbagel. That name always makes me hungry. How many relics does Leary have? None. Well, where are they? How many does Viper have? None. One here. Okay, one here. One here. One. Okay, there. There. Okay, it's not too bad. And Leary at least gets a conversion this time. Now that I think about it, I think they might have updated the audio for the War Wagon. Maybe if someone can pull up that old video and compare it. I think it is updated. I like this a lot better. It sounds a lot more... It sounds less pew-pew-ish. Okay, it is different. I just... Viper, what are you gonna do, man? It's a lot of skirms. He does have the war wagons. I think he needs to push the hill. He's getting the final armor upgrade. These villagers are coming forward. Are they going to place towers? Oh, siege workshop. Viper will push the right. Leary has armies on patrol on either side of his base. He's waiting for Viper to come in. He sees Viper is here. Now, a lot of people might ask, what do you do against war wagons? Well, you have to take advantages before your opponent gets to them because they're damn good. And Leary has taken those advantages. He has 89 villagers versus Viper 69, so he should be able to create a whole lot more military than Viper, but Viper has less numbers. His numbers are stronger. Leary is soon going to click up to the Imperial Age, so Arbalest and Elite Skirm and Mangadai, all of this can work. But Viper's slowly starting to creep in. Now, this is Viper's time. If Viper has any chance in this game, he needs to do some damage over the next couple minutes. He will know that Leary's ahead in economy. He will know that Leary will be looking towards the Imperial Age. So while he pressures here, he needs to pressure that other side. And I think he's thinking about it. Leary really needed a market a while ago. He's building it now. He could have sold some of that food and clicked up to Imp a whole minute or two faster. Don't be surprised if Viper gets some big shots here. This is a lot of war wagons, full upgrades, and to have Maganels, and he'll be trying to push up this hill. It might even be Doubt Castle territory, where Leary, who still hasn't clicked up to Imp despite having the resources, will place a castle on the hill to secure it. And Viper will arrive there! Oh no! Oh, Viper is also doing a great job to distract these skirms, as I said. Leary is on the way to Imp. He, he's going to castle this hill. 
Hey, he's going to try and castle this hill. Surely. Oh, man. Oh! Viper does need to be careful. There are monks around, and Leary will hope to convert the war wagons like he's failed to do a few times. Viper snipes one of the monks, but loses his Maganel. That's honestly good micro from Leary. But dude, build the castle. Build the castle. Quick, secure the golds. Leary's going to make camels too? Okay, interesting. I mean, I don't love the situation for Leary. This is a risky spot to be in. He, he dives in with the knights, but the knights don't have many upgrades. A Viper will block... However, he will lose the Maganel, and I think that's all Leary wanted to do in that situation. The Viper is also on the way to Imp, so instead of pushing this hill, I think he has to back up now, and he has to keep his war wagon numbers up. Now, elite war wagons are tanky. And I don't think camels as Mongols is the option. I think it's got to be elite skirm and Mangadai. The fact that Leary's making camels with a sieve that does not get the final armor upgrade on their camels against a unit as strong as the war wagon, I, I think it's a bad move. If you're a sieve that gets heavy camel with the final armor upgrade, I think you can justify it. But the final armor upgrade is so needed against something as strong as a war wagon. Or basically any ranged unit. New Koreans. Same old Viper. Will he castle the hill? I think he needs to castle this hill. I like how he's bringing monks into heal. Leary will probably need that stone, right? So if Viper castles the hill and denies that, that's that's two castles that Leary won't have, and that's Mangadai he won't be able to create. Uh, these war wagons, which are mostly on full HP, will loop to the right of Leary's base. Uh, Leary is researching Bracer for these skirmishers. I think with Bracer and Chemistry, it'll be just enough to, to push that back. Hey guys, sorry about the speed again. I've been having issues with that over the past month and a half with DE. Nah, I don't like the fight. I mean... Staliri is losing so many units. The micro looks fancy, but look at that KD, he's losing so many units. Yes, his units are less expensive, but... Viper has a lot of the map right now. Viper is held on! The Korean army is getting progressively stronger. Koreans get Siege Onager, they get War Wagon, they get Halberdier. Can someone remind me what the cost is for Elite War Wagon? Because if I remember, it's really expensive, and I don't think it's all that realistic for Viper right away. Now, the KD is right here. It's it's really hard to see. It's 18 kills for Leary and uh, 47 deaths. No, 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 the Elite upgrade, guys, the Elite upgrade. I think it's 1,000 wood and 800 gold? It's 1,000 something 800 gold. That's all Viper's making right now. Uh, Leary found the extra stone and will deny that. And we need to look to the scouting to see what the players can see. Viper found this extra gold. He'll lock it down with a TC. 1,800 gold. Yeah. So it's kind of tough to, to get that when you're also producing Maganels and War Wagons. But you know, now your units are discounted, right? Viper gets all of his attack upgrades. But the Skirmishers are doing okay for Leary. I'm really surprised the Skirmishers are holding up so well. Viper really needs Onager. He does have Elite War Wagon on the way. Leary has gone Hussar. So Hussar, Skirm. Okay, I'm glad he hasn't gone for Heavy Camel. I'm feeling a whole lot better for him now. I guess if Leary can produce 10 times the amount of units, it's something. <laughs> Look at him run around with the new DE. Did you see that? That's awesome. I love that. So because there's a little bit less lag and... Also, I think projectiles are slower on DE. You can run around and dodge the shots even if they have ballistics. It's funny to see that. The micro nerds like Leary will do that. But my question is, can Leary push that hill? 
These war wagons are elite now, so they have extra pierce armor, 200 HP. I don't know if he can push that hill. Now he can raid Viper, he can use mobility, and he's beginning to do that now with some Hussars, so that's a good move. The Viper will go opt for tower defense. I think that will probably be the strategy, right? Raid on the sides, keep Viper on, on the back foot, and as Viper deals with the raids, then maybe push this hill, but... Viper will also have Onager and Bombard Cannon soon. So if Viper can use these towers to stall out and use all of the war wagons he can afford on the hill, could be very, very good. He's just going for the keeps now. Koreans are hard to stop. New Koreans are really strong. When I saw the balance change, I thought they could be a top 10 Civ on open maps. If you play them correctly, and now Viper did not really in the early game, but if you play them correctly, I mean, they get to this stage, how on earth do you push this? Viper also has three relics, by the way. These war wagons are incredible. And then the, you combine that with the Korean onagers. The towers, which will mop up any raids. Look! Look, look at the hussars! Okay, do you think Leary should be making Mangadai, guys? Or do you think he should just go all in with Siege Ram? I think Siege Ram is good, and he thinks so too. Also, I saw he was making Siege Ram, so... As a caster, it makes a whole lot of sense to just opt to decide... Uh, to agree with the pro player. <laughs> but no, I think Mangadai would be a mistake here. I think this is one of the rare situations where maybe... go for Going for the drill Siege Rams would make a whole lot of sense. <sighs> Oof. I do like how Leary's been out here. I like how he's been expanding. There is an extra gold. I, I think he should be looking for these relics, so it's a bit rusty there. Yeah. Viper, he's starting to push, and he's starting to mine that stone. That is Leary's stone. Viper's also been healing these tanky war wagons. Now, the monks will heal one horse at a time. I don't know if you guys knew that. They updated it in, in DE. In, in Classic, you would just heal both horses at once. Now you horse you heal one horse at a time. Okay, so both players have a hill. 140 vils for both players. Leary has more military, but his military is a whole lot less effective! How did Leary not lose his, his skirmishers there? Well, he did. It just was better than I thought. I wonder if Siege Rams can do it. Maybe if you get... He's actually pop capped. I think you need more than four. Maybe if you get ten? Look at these Ferraris, man. Choo-choo! My Ferrari sounds like a train. I don't know about your Ferrari, chat. Okay, the Onagers will be taken out of the picture. The Bombard Cannon's out of the picture. The Monks... The Rams are still back here. This is a good fight. Rams or no Rams for Leary, that's fine. I think that's decent value. Oh, there's Bombard Cannons behind there. Oh boy, oh my goodness! Choo choo! Here come the Ferraris! Drill Siege Rams! Choo choo! This is insane. I mean, you should be able to use the Rams against the War Wagons, right? And then also use the rams against the bombard cannons. Now Viper needs onagers. He needs onagers behind the castle. Look at the rams go! But how long will it last is the question. Because with two onagers behind all of this, Leary could flatten the well some of the rams. Leary has more population, but Viper has a 2 to 1 KD. Koreans are just hard to push. Pushing Koreans up a hill on Arabia is like trying to push Fat Slob through the choke point in Black Forest. Good luck. Unit after unit, skirmisher after skirmisher, just being thrown to, the, thrown to a, their death. And Viper has more relics. I don't. I honestly don't think there's anything Leary can do. I, the ram attempt is the only thing I could think of. 
Koreans are beastly. Viper was what, 20 vils behind in Castle Age? Doesn't matter. And <laughs> look at Leary sending Hussars and how quickly they die. Uh, I thought it was a lot faster because of that one Hussar, but... Also, uh, what's up to the gamer in the chat? Hey, Wellen, nice to see you. Well, and I'm gonna give you a shout out in a YouTube video of mine this week, by the way. I'm sure it's gonna help. I'm sure my 160,000 YouTube subscribers will all boost your sub count up. Just double your subscriber count in a week. You're welcome. <laughs> He's in like 1.7 mil. <laughs> okay, Leary is thinking about raiding on this side. Viper's making Korean Hussars, which are awful, by the way. They're the worst Hussars in the game, but it's something. Okay, maybe Leary needed some Rams here. I think Vipers probably made Hussars just for the siege. Yeah, but can Leary kill this? I mean, Viper no longer has the hill advantage. Maybe Leary can do it. A few Hussars have made it in. There's a ram over here. Suddenly, Viper is having to deal with an awful lot. Some villagers are dying. This castle could go down. I think Leary changing position was the way to go. Viper has a slow army composition that's impossible to kill. So just hold it home and avoid it elsewhere. Raid, raid, raid is the name of the game. And that ram will not finish off the castle. It's close though. Oh no, the treb will. Clutch trebuchet. Okay, and now Leary has camels. Now, Leary found this gold. That's something you need to know. Leary also could possibly find... No. He can't find that relic, apparently. Man, if he had those relics, it would have helped out so much. 169 population for both. This is damn close, but 340 kills for Viper and 175 for Leary. And Viper's banking up a lot of gold. And now Viper will raid with his Hussars. Strong Hussars or not, they're still military versus villagers if they get into your lumber line. I love the thud from the war wagons. It's so satisfying. Boom. Boom. Imagine if I was casting this in a thunderstorm right now. Don't ask me why I said that, but just imagine it. Oh, Viper found that there's gold here. That's good to know. But I don't think he can take it. He can just deny it. Is Leary pushing this back? I think he is. Look at the score lead. Forget the fact they're defeated, but look at the score lead. He'll ram down these towers and raid. He's also making a push up the gut where Viper's castle is very weak. He's also been raiding in the back. Leary is coming back in this game. He really needs to get some Hussars back here to snipe the Onagers though. Oh no, just use your own ram. Look at the Ferrari go. Boink. Boink it. Boink it. Hello? Alright, he didn't boink it. Will the castle go down, though? Oh, the castle will go down! This is a very realistic battle. <laughs> Leary is sacrificing so many of his people to win. <laughs> Ridiculous. Also, Leary, there we go. He's beginning to fight. Viper could actually run out of areas for wood pretty soon. He has wood here, mm -hmm. some wood here, but a lot of the wood that he was shopping in the back of his base will be... Those lumberjacks will move forward. Beijing. Whew. Ay, 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 ay. What a game. And did Leary finally get a relic, or is that Viper? Wait a second. Oh, Viper's moving. He's moving the relics back further. That's smart. This makes me think it's a regicide game and Viper has a king there. <laughs> but I guess he forgot about those. Sick stuff, man. Hey, Varian. Varian, you said hello earlier, and I don't know if you, you heard my response, but hello. Maybe he said hello every two minutes and I missed him each time. 
keep looking at Viper's resources, but he does only have one castle to produce war wagons. That's a big problem now. He does have gold, he does have wood. But he's used a lot of stone on towers. And Leary is focusing down the war wagons. I can already see the YouTube title now. N New Koreans versus Old Mongols, or another word for old but gold, something like that. New but blue versus old but gold. Um, new but... Hmm. I'll, I'll have to grab my thesaurus and we'll figure that out. It has to rhyme, guys. Classic Mongols? Meh. <laughs> now, if I was a real clickbaiter, I would just make the title, Do I Still Love Koreans? <laughs> After the other video where it said I love Koreans did so well. Find me in my next video. Do I still love Koreans? I don't know. These things take a long time to create. It bothers me that Leary hasn't prioritized the relics all game. Really bothers me. It's such a simple thing. It's free gold. I don't understand why he would just neglect to look for them. Hey, or he sees this one. He just... Silly, man. Silly, silly, silly. Viper probably has 3,000 plus gold from his relics. The answer will shock you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or I could title my YouTube videos like Wellen does for his Rust stuff, and I could be... Destroying... <laughs> destroying a, an updated civilization with an old powerhouse civilization. <laughs> I think Leary's about to make a big push, and I know he doesn't have relics, but he does have 72 military. And Viper only has 54, and Viper's military has to stay in a big solid clump. So Viper's clumping up. And he's dealing with this side, but as he does that, Leary says, surprise. Surprise. I'll get my stone back. I'll take your towers down. I'll take your houses out. Good luck. And like I said, I think Viper will eventually need to move this way for wood. Now, Viper is making pointy boys, so he's making halves with his war wagons, which is a great idea. But again, it's very slow. We're not seeing a whole lot from Viper in terms of mobility. Everything needs to be grouped up. I've loved Leary's micro, because this has not been easy for him. Uh, 480 kills for Viper and only 320 deaths. And just like I, just as I say that, Leary spots Yonagers, snipes Yonagers. Beautiful stuff. I think Leary has done the right thing to move in with Rams, uh, as long as he continues to do it over here! And he is doing it over here! Viper still hasn't relocated this relic, so Leary, maybe that will wake him up to the fact there are relics there. But, you know, he'll snipe some towers, he'll snipe some more houses. Viper was housed for a second here, and as long as Leary continues this pressure and comes in from three different sides, it could be so, so good for him, and it could be the key to victory. I thought that Viper was going to win. Well, first I thought that Leary was going to win this game because he was so far ahead. And then I saw the strength of the new Koreans. Then I thought Viper was going to win this game. And then Leary with the Siege Rams, with the Ferraris, has made me think that he's going to win this game now. No relics for him. So he's probably running low on gold. But if he can make it happen now, it could work. Can Viper stabilize? I think the thing that worries me with Leary is I'm, I'm watching a lot of these camels and hussars die to towers, and so if he ever runs out of resources to produce more, I just I see Viper's composition being better. I think Viper should have never lost his hill. Viper should have pushed on that hill, but credit to Leary for distracting him in the, in the north. Yeah, this is the important stuff here. The rams on the towers, the rams on the lumber camps, all those things. And Viper knows it, so he's prepping halves. That KD is insane. It is so rare you see a KD like this. 
<laughs> it is truly insane. If this was Capture Age, Capture Age could tell us how many kills Viper's 39 War Wagons have. But since I don't have Capture Age, we'll just say it's 117 kills. Even though it's probably a whole lot more than that. Alright, Viper's War Wagons. Um... I mean, I don't, I don't love Leary's position. Viper has so many war wagons still. It's crazy, but he's whittling them down. He's trying to, anyways. Look at the amount of units that Leary has queued up. What a game this has been. Viper will gain this hill back, but Leary will stream in new forces here. Viper will quickly take that relic to the back. Leary did get this relic, has not gotten this relic. It, it actually it tilts me. Does it bother anyone else when pros don't get relics? I get not getting relics in Castle Age, but when you're an imp, you have to get them. Insane production from Leary. He has probably 69 units queued up at the top left. It's actually pretty close. I'm not even memeing. 50. That's close. Somebody add that up. But Viper needs to produce Hussars. I don't know how good his food eco is, but he needs Hussars in front. I think if he has Hussars and Halbs in front of his War Wagons, if he has that precious Meat Shield, then can take care of the Rams, he'll be good. Viper has the hill! Is Viper back in business? Is he back in business? Closer to 80? Alright, I tried. Like I said, Leary will run out of resources. He will not be able to afford many more ram waves. And without the ram waves, you can't deal with the war wagons and helms, right? I mean, Viper still has to deal with this over here. It's not easy to defend against. Koreans are just so hard to kill. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Viper did not get the other relic. Leary's going to get the other relic, I think, but... Viper's still on three. I think he might have meant the this relic here. Yeah, he's, Viper has three. Leary has one for the time being. Leary still has more population. He's consistently had 30 or, 30 or so more military. Viper's gold count is pretty low, though. I just don't know how to call this game. Viper's gold count is, is dangerously low. He moved. Is Leary going to push back up this hill? I feel like he is. How? I don't know. Rams in front. Okay, he'll back up. Leary has 72 farmers. That's a lot of farmers. That's a lot of food. And that means a lot of Hussars and a lot of Skirms. Viper has zero gold miners. So is three relics enough to give you a trickle of gold to keep the war wagons up? Because Viper's taking the hill, but Viper can't push this hill. He can't push that castle. I think it's easier for Leary to finish off Viper still than it is for Viper to finish off. Well, I don't know. It's it's hard for both of them for different reasons. Like Leary, he has to raid to finish off Viper. It's going to be a slow, slow death for Viper, and he's starting to. Um, and he'll do so here as well, but... <clears throat> You know, Viper doesn't have Siege, so... Yeah. Ay, 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 what a game. <clears throat> By the way, awesome viewership. Thank you guys for hanging out today, watching these games. This is game number five. This game will be on YouTube in the future, I'm sure. Uh, the whole best of seven, which I'll stream on Twitch, will be in the video description. I mean, this whole series has been good. I might end up uplo uploading the whole thing. I I'm really not sure right now. This is weird. Why did Viper run here for wood? He still has wood over here and here. Not so much here. And Viper left the hill because he wants to take the north from Leary. And Leary said, okay, I'm back. How do you like me now? Better Hussars? Is Skirms still doing work? I'd love to see Leary just ram down the stables. Or even dive in for the castle. And watch, if Viper comes back to deal with this hill, Leary will run right back in. 
Okay, I am I am of the opinion that Viper will lose this game. That is what I believe. But uh, it's because of the lack of wood and the amount of pressure from Leary. That the mobility from Leary has truly been exceptional in this game. These are the types of games that Leary excels in. Any any situation where he has speed, he excels. He's a really fast player. Yep. The winged hussars arrive back at Viper's base. <laughs> Why isn't Viper walling? It's a lot of stone. You could argue that he could have walled though instead of the towers earlier. Walling now just wouldn't work. He doesn't have the stone for it. He doesn't have the time. He doesn't have the, the space to breathe. I think Viper realizes that in order to win this game, he needs to give up the hill for a second so he can push this hill and expand a bit further. But while he's doing that, Leary's taking the other side of his base, so... Now, Viper doesn't really need this side to chop wood. But he does need this side for his farms. So I don't think he'll love that. But he, he has pushed this castle down, and there's some stone over there for him. I think the, the lack of eco for Viper is the worrying thing, and only 86 villagers for the Viper. 140 population is his lowest in a long, long time, and Leary's still pumping out military, still 180 pop. Very close to being pop capped. And he has 70 farmers still, so the production is unreal, and he'll just deal with the right-hand side now. So he'll reinforce, go to deal with that as he raids on this side. Ooh, it would be pretty epic if he uh, ejects these relics. I think he will, too. Oh, Viper! Don't let him kill it! Don't let him kill it! Ah! Repair the monastery! This could actually be really bad for Viper because he doesn't have enough gold to make a monk. <laughs> or barely. This is really important. 34 HP on the ram. I think Viper will keep the monastery up, and he does. But still not ideal. He had to focus on all of that. What a game. Three relics to two now. The war wagons are still alive. Viper has a whole lot of military patrolling in his own base, though, because he was defending, so... He might still need them there. It feels like Leary will win this, but... Fact remains that Viper has more space in the north. Viper can take the stone. Viper can take wood again. And Viper could expand more farming eco in the north. Viper's not going to win in the next five minutes, but if he starts to get Zico back on track, which he's doing, it's possible, man. It's crazy, but it's possible. And we talked about wood. Where can Leary get wood? Leary's getting wood here. And he's getting raided back here. So if Leary doesn't pay attention, it could be a disaster, but here he comes! He's pushing up the hill! Viper does not have a single onager here to help. Leary is microing the skirms against the war wagons. He knows how difficult it is for Viper to make new ones. And Leary can make plenty more skirms and plenty more hussars with his food and Woody Co. There's a ram. I think the rams will take care of the, the, um, the trebuchets, or at least one. A lot of skirmishers are dying, but a lot of war wagons are dying as well. I mean, considering the war wagons have eight pierce armor, these skirmishers are doing work. I think it's mainly down to the cost. And yes, the trebs did die. That's a huge blow to Viper's chances. But guys, see these little pokey boys taking out lumberjacks. Viper, he sent in some hussars and house. He's he's still doing okay economically. He's better than Leary, or sorry, he's better than he was a moment ago. And Leary is taking losses. Viper still has three relics. The population is 150 for Viper and 180 for Leary, but Leary can't finish him off, man! You can't finish him off! Leary will send in another wave of Hussars, which I think he needs to continue to do. 
Just keep an eye on the amount of lumberjacks that players have. The amount of lumberjacks and the amount of farmers. Ay, 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 what a game. What are we at? One hour and 20 minutes. T90 official, why are you on Leary's side? You should be neutral. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping that's a troll. <laughs> I mentioned before this game that it's an impossible battle sometimes when I'm casting Viper games, because so, some people are like, wow, T90's a fanboy, while well, at the same time people are thinking, people who are fanboys of Viper are thinking, wow, T90's rooting against Viper, this is so bad. I'm hoping that's a troll. I shouldn't have mentioned that to you. Why do I tell you guys things? That is a really weird castle spot for Leary. Why not just win the hill and then build the castle? But, I mean, that's the plan, right? He knows how important this side is to Viper. I'm surprised he's placing the castle here. But you know what? Maybe he wasn't as confident in winning the fight. Maybe he felt like the castle would really help. The castle is up. And if that castle's up, Viper doesn't have any rams, he doesn't have any trebs. He certainly doesn't have tanky enough hussars to fight near the castle fire. The Viper has 40 military, it is 90 for Leary. Is Leary going to do this? He's down 5,000 score because of the KD. I think he will. I think it's desperation time for the snake. Random defensive tower, we know that's not going to work when there's rams around. Um... He's bringing over a treb. He's falling back. This would be the perfect opportunity for Leary to send a group of Hussars back to the left. Because Viper's sending so much over to this side. I think the killer blow would be if Leary sends anything over to the left. Man, I, I'm really impressed with how Leary played this and how Viper played this. This is just good all around. After these types of games, it's normally there's not a lot of big things I can pick out that the players have done wrong. The only thing that comes to mind is Viper probably shouldn't have added the skirmishers in Feudal Age, uh, and Leary should have got the relics earlier. But beyond that, I think they've done everything really, really well in this game. Leary realized throughout this entire game that yes, he's not going to have a good KD, but as long as he's queuing up more and producing more, he'll be fine. Viper's been killing a whole lot more. The units he does have are stronger, but he can't afford to produce them, despite that discount. And I think Viper will tap out here. Um, 120 population is lower than he's been in a long time. He'll lose these villagers because he doesn't seem to know. Yeah, he realizes. It's not often that you see the player with a higher score resign. It's not often that you see the player with 5,000 in-game score resign. Or 5,000 more in-game score, sorry. But it very much feels like that's the direction this game is going. Even look at these Korean Hussars. No bloodlines, no armor, no extra attack. They're dying to skirms. <laughs> If you have gold with Koreans, you're good, but you better have it, because otherwise, this happens. GG. Wow. What a performance from Leary. Viper had 30,374 score. Leary had 25,782. What a beautiful game, though. We got to see the new Koreans uh, against the old and powerful Mongols. Mongols won. Keys to victory, production, and mobility. If Leary didn't produce, and if Leary didn't split groups, he would have lost this game. In fact, I think that he almost did lose the game, but the mobility saved him. Because do you remember this, this hill engagement? Viper was pushing the hill, Viper was, was gaining ground, Leary, he even tried to push this with rams and he couldn't. And then Leary said, hmm, alright, well Viper has 50 units I can't kill, why don't we hit the left? Why don't we hit the right? And then Viper, when he'd deal with this side, Leary would run back to the left. He just kept Viper moving. And if you're wondering what Viper would need to do to prevent that, to deal with that as Koreans, you just have to push faster. So if Viper was more clinical with his push in the hill, then Leary wouldn't have the population space to raid. He would have to defend. Uh, Viper needed to force Leary to attack him at all times, and he failed to do that. Uh, I do think that maybe some stone walls for Viper on the flanks could have worked. 
he was thinking towers would be more effective though. Uh, but you, you got to consider if Viper Stonewalls, Larry would just ram down the stone walls and get in anyways. So I can kind of see why Viper went for the towers instead. Uh, crazy, crazy game though. Check this out. 1,170 kills for Viper. 909 units lost for him. Largest armies were really high. Uh, where's the relic gold? Oof. That would have been probably 4,400 to 30 to, to 3,000 if Leary would have collected those relics earlier. So, I mean, if Leary lost this game, that's the one thing I would have said. You should have got those relics. But he did fine anyways. 99% of the map was explored by Leary. 95 from Viper. Viper had all those researches, which were not cheap. And there's the timeline, man. More of this game was played in the Imperial Age than it was in the Dark Age, Feudal Age, and Castle Age. That's when you know you have an incredible one. All right. So, as I said during the game, the whole best of seven is going to be in the YouTube video description because I like to upload the best individual games instead of uploading a three or four hour long video. Um, so that option is there for you if you're watching on YouTube and you want to see that. Uh, for those of us here on the stream, we still have potentially two more games to get to in the best of seven. So we're going to move on there, but thank you guys for watching. That was sweet.